Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to the online class of Dr. Khastukir Government Girls High School. Today I am with you, Tawhida Armana, Senior Teacher English, Dr. Khastukir Government Girls High School, Chotogram. I am going to take class on English for today and my class is for the students of class 6. So, dear students, here is your EFT book. How are you all? I hope all of you are well and fine. I am also well by the grace of Almighty Allah. So, let's begin our today's class. At first, look at a picture. What do you see in this picture? You can see a train which is standing uh, at a, uh, which is standing in a station and you can see a platform. Here some people are standing, some are moving and some are waiting. Uh, can you tell me? Uh, which is the place? Do you know the place? Are you familiar with this place? Can you tell me the name of this place? Yes. It is a railway station. So, our today's lesson is at a railway station. You will get it in your EFT book in lesson 2, page number 7 to Learning outcomes after completing this lesson. You will be able to read and understand text, talk about people, places and familiar objects in short and simple sentences. Before going through the lesson, I would like to introduce you with some keywords, uh, the meaning of the keywords which will help you to understand the text properly. Our first word is C of, it means bid farewell. Here is a picture for you. Some people are <coughs> bidding farewell to their guest. You can see here, this is a place, it is a, a, a airport or helipad. They are bidding farewell to their friends. Here I have made a sentence for you. They went to the airport to see them off. Our next word is crowded, which means populous. Look at the picture. Huge people. There is a uh, crowd, huge crowd. We can say there is a huge crowd here. They gathered in a small place. It is, we can say, it is very populous. So, a sentence with the word crowd is here. Railway station is a crowded place. Our next word is queue, which means line or row. Here is a picture related to queue. Here they are in a, all the people are in a line or in a row. They are moving forward but they all are in their certain lines. Here is a sentence for you. They follow their leader by standing in line. <coughs> Our next word is luggage which means baggage 
here is a picture look at this picture all of the people uh, are standing in a line and they are holding their own luggage they are waiting with their own luggage so here is a sentence they are waiting in the line with their luggage so here you have to open your EFT book page number 7 it is section A this is the passage I am going to read out the passage you also try to follow me my friend Sajjad and I were sitting at the railway station. I came to see him off. Sajjad was going to Dhaka to his elder sister's house. It was very crowded in the station. There was a long line of people at ticket counter. A woman was standing in the queue. She was holding her child's hand tightly. A group of young people was talking loudly and drinking tea in front of a tea stall. An old couple was trying to find a quiet place to sit down and rest. The waiting room was crowded too. I saw one man who was trying to carry three heavy suitcases. A young lady was sitting on a bench with her luggage at one corner. She was reading a magazine. My friend and I stood near a newspaper stall talking and watching the crowd around. Soon my friend's train started to leave. As the train whistled, he picked up his suitcase and we said goodbye to each other. Okay, I have completed reading. Now come to section A1. Here, talk about what the speaker saw and did at the railway station. Use your own words. What you have to do here? You have to explain the above passage in your own word okay dear students i think it will be very much easier for you you can do it uh, but i am trying to help you here you can say you can start like this uh, the speaker and his friend uh, uh, sajjad uh, went to the station uh, the speaker went to the station to see his friend off uh, he uh, the, the station was very crowded there was a long line of people they saw uh, a long line of people in front of the ticket counter mm, then you can uh, say like this he also he saw a woman was standing in the line holding his a child's hand tightly. He also saw a group of young people who was talking and drinking tea in front of a tea stall. And uh, he found an old couple uh, who was trying to find a, find a quiet place to sit down and rest. Uh, he also saw the... Uh, he also saw the uh, waiting room was very crowded. He saw a man who was trying to carry three heavy suitcases. And a young lady uh, was sitting on the bench uh, with her luggage at one corner of the station. And uh, 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 the speaker and his friends, uh, uh, they were uh, talking and watching the crowd around. And soon, when the train started to leave, uh, the speaker um, bade him goodbye. Okay? You can uh, describe the passage like me. Try to do it at home. Now, I am moving to my next slide. It is section A2. This is a matching activity. Here... Match a word from column A with a word in column B that has an opposite meaning. Here are some words. In column A, you can see some words. The words are sea of, long, quite, heavy, pick up. 
and in column B the words are tight, busy, receive, drop and short. What you have to do? You have to find out the opposite word of column A. You have to search out the opposite word of column A. Okay, from column B. First one is done for you. Here, long, the opposite of long is short. Now, what is the opposite meaning of the word? See of. Can you do it? Yes. The opposite, opposite word of see of is receive. Then, quite. Opposite of quite is busy, heavy. I know all of you can do it. It is very easy. The opposite of heavy is light. Then, our last word is pick up. The opposite of pick up is drop. Okay. Have you done it? Now, have a look at this slide. It is section A3. Here is the instruction. Look at the picture below. Talk about what things you see and what are happening. Here is the picture. Okay. What do you see in this picture? Uh, you have to describe the picture. What do you see? Okay. You can uh, see that this is the picture of a railway station. You, uh, we can easily say that this is a place of a railway station. There are several kinds of people here. What are they doing? At the left hand side of the picture we can see a man, women and their children. They are moving forward. Uh, suppose they are trying to, um, uh, they are uh, going in front of uh, the uh, in front, uh, they are going forward to get into the train. Okay. At the middle of this picture, we can see uh, two person, three person here. Uh, one, uh, one person is holding a briefcase or holding a baggage in his hand. And here is a uh, man. Uh, he is a, he is holding uh, three heavy uh, uh, luggage on his head. We can say him a coolie. He is carrying the luggage of the passenger. And at the uh, right hand side, you can see a hawker. Uh, he is a, you can say he is a um, betel uh, nut sailor. He is selling betel nut, cigarettes and uh, all other things. He is a hawker. You can say he is a Hawker. All of this, uh, uh, the picture is very familiar and uh, this is very much general in a railway station. Okay. Now, dear students, I am moving to my next slide. It is section A4. Here, suppose you went to one of the place listed below. Describe what you saw, what were happening and what did you, what you did there. Okay. Suppose you went to one of the places listed below. Describe what you saw, what were happening and what you did there. The name of the places are a shopping place, a bus station and a fair. Let's see some pictures. Here is a picture of a what? It is a shopping place. You can easily guess that this is a place of a shopping place. This is a, uh, this is a shopping place. And here is a picture. What do you see? There are uh, bus. There are several buses here. So what do you say? This is a bus station. And here is a picture. It is uh, the there are several stalls are here. People are uh, moving 
uh, to each stall to another and they are uh, buying their uh, um, desired things from this stall so this is a we can say that this is a fair open space this is a very open space and all uh, there are several stalls are here this is a fair so um, here the instruction what is the instruction describe uh, any of the places that you uh, what you did at any of this place what happened and what did you do there here uh, you have to do it uh, but I am helping you I am selecting the first place a shopping place now uh, you have to describe what you uh, this is a very common place for you I know all of you uh, mm, for any kind of uh, requirement you always go to a shopping place with your parents isn't it so you have to describe it like uh, a shopping place mm, uh, my, before the uh, you can describe like this like uh, before the pohela uh, boishak I uh, want to buy a cloth for me that's why I went to the shopping at a shopping mall with my mother and my younger brother uh, there I uh, all there the all all of the shops are very crowded I went to a, a shop and there I uh, I saw a, um, a fotua for me and I selected a fotua then I, uh, after some bargaining, uh, my mother bought it for me. Mm, I came, uh, my, uh, we came, uh, then we came to the, uh, out of the, came out of the store. And we went to a coffee shop. Uh, we saw a, at, at that place, we saw a young group of people. They are uh, chatting and laughing loudly and Mm, eat and uh, drinking coffee uh, we also sat in that uh, cof coffee shop and um, drink coffee uh, then we also saw uh, a young couple uh, uh, they also a young couple they also uh, went uh, came into the uh, shop and ordered uh, coffee for them uh, the whole place was uh, very crowded after taking coffee mm, we get out of that co coffee shop and uh, mm, then we went out of the shopping mall okay like this you can describe the uh, other places like a bus station a fair okay now Dear students, here, here is a homework for you. Suppose you visited a book fair. Now, describe what you saw there. Okay? Uh, you have to write down this in your exercise copy. Uh, I will check it after when your our school will be open. Okay, now I am end, at the end of my class, so I would like to give you thank you and goodbye and see you in my next class. Okay, Allah Hafiz.